Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. I would just like to point out that at this point, Winston Payne has appeared in every single case in this game thus far. Yeah. <laughs> so, let's see if that'll continue for the rest of the game. Hey everybody, welcome back to Recipe for Turnabout. So, we've talked to Maggie Bird, who Marty didn't realize was Maggie Bird at the beginning. <gasps> we found a single I'm newspaper. I'm mad she of all people's back because she's so normal. Like, I just want, Her personality I just want, is, I have bad luck. Yeah, I literally just want a crazy character to, like, pop up just so I can just be like, <laughs> and, like, have, like, a weird voice. Well, there'll be lots of crazy characters. I'm not sure if you'll voice them, though. I want to. We'll see. All right, we're going to criminal Maybe affairs. Maybe I can do... What's the opposite of, um, brag? You know how there's, like, a guy uh, pretending to be a guy, girl? If you can have a girl pretending to be a guy and be like... It's <laughs> called... <laughs> is it also wearing... drag? Or is it, like... No, I think it's just, like, clothes. You're weird. Okay. No, I'm it, it, there's a stigma against guys wearing girls' clothes, but, like, if a girl wants to wear pants nowadays, doggone it, she's going to. Elsa, Elsa did it, Elsa so did anyone it. can do it Everybody else now. can. <laughs> January 6th, police station, criminal affairs department. It's been ages since we came down to the precinct, huh, Nick? Looks like Gumshoe isn't around. Well, yeah. He's got it so easy leaving everyone else to do the work. No, he's out there somewhere. My bet is on the courthouse. He's probably trying to arrange the retrial of this case. Guess that means we should go to the detention center and chat with our killer, huh? After being convicted without a fair trial, I'm not sure oh, killer is the we right were label. Supposed to go. I thought Gumshoe was gonna be here! I thought we were supposed- I think we were supposed to go here first. That's okay. Alright. <laughs> no clues here. Uh, it was a clock. A poster of a female police officer. Wait, no. That's the latest Babes in Uniform calendar. My bad. I love how it's very prominently out. <laughs> hey, that's the police mascot, isn't it? It's so cute! That's the Blue Badger! It was my idea! I made it! And now it's the national symbol of the police force! So, what's with the pink one? It's new, right? She's not an it, Nick. She's a she. Right, Nick? Er, right, Nick? <laughs> right, Chief? Yup. Just meet the Pink Badger. So one's called blue and one's called pink? But they're both called Badger? You got it! They're married. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Badger seem to be cuffed together, Chief. You got it! That's marriage for you! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! A mascot that's deeper than the deepest of deep oceans. <laughs> that's great. This must be the chief of the detectives here. He's glued to his computer screen. What?! Mask to mask turned up at the bank?! What's he doing?! Hands up, you scallywags! You're under arrest! Hey, that's our job! <laughs> Looks like Ron Delight's opted for a new career. <laughs> Quit surfing the net, Chief! So, sorry, I was just... Um... <laughs> Things feel pretty tense in Wow, here. he never gets called out for that. What about the other dude? That must be one of the detectives. He's mumbling something to himself. Don't die running a red light. Die the old-fashioned way. Of old age! We have a winner! Inject a bit of humor. That's the key. He must be coming up with slogans for a safety campaign. I guess? Okay. <laughs> Ultimate safety campaign slogan. Be careful or be roadkill. Kill, yep. These are the de detective's desks. There are computers and files on each one. Funny, they're a lot tidier than I expected. I guess the detectives don't spend a lot of time at their desks. It would be really funny if Phoenix Wright, like, read those aloud. <laughs> it's just like, do you mind? We're working right Come now. on, dude. What I we guess we go to back to the go here. beyond? Oh, maybe. Oh, boy. Do we get a character? Oh, boy. I want to see. Voice destroyer number wait, one. Wait, I, wait. Let me see. <laughs> maybe I can do it. January 6th, Trabion. Oh la la, bonjour! Welcome to the Trabion! Oh, hello? What happened to Maya? She's frozen stiff. <laughs> Is he the weirdest looking? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my petite restaurant! Huh? Bienvenue? Oh no, my petite chude! Uh, me? Look at this face! This <laughs> likes the kitten! You are checked by its own mother! You are fatigued, non? Alors, you need this! An aromatic bath for all melange in London, the Randy and Rose, my personal recommendation! I think I need what 
Uh, I'm just gonna say, Link and I both agree, worst character in the whole series right here. He's so, <laughs> so horrible. Wee oui, wee, oui, it's just add a couple drops of sea mixture to the bath water and voila! It, it will soothe your, your body and your, your mind. mind. It's simply fantastic. Why can't I try? <laughs> you wanna try? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> really? And for the love of you, <laughs> uh, no, it's okay. If you butcher his French, it's 100% fine. <laughs> Look at his face like the puppy rejected my life itself. You are fatigued, not. This for is you, the best and you, worst. I recommend this. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best and worst thing ever. This is pretty much the worst thing ever. <laughs> what is with his hair? It's like crazy. Why is he wearing this? Well, because he's in a pink restaurant. Some people like to wear pink. Okay, but that's like <laughs> girly pink. I love how he's like wearing all this pink, but then he's got like the beefiest muscles. Uh, <laughs> oh, I love the mimosa, maybe a little. Oi, oi! <laughs> this is the worst. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Everyone has turned off the video do this now. Without laughing. <laughs> then you're not voicing. No, it. no, no. No, no. Wait, I didn't get to read it! Too bad! <laughs> Such an invigorating recipe will be that's a delicious beauty, but still. No! My beauty! Oh Lord, if you will be seated, I will bring you the special menu of Zide. Actually, we're not here to eat. We're lawyers. My boys, I know Zid's already, Monsieur. You are the Phoenix, right? No? Um, yes, you know me? My wee wee, I never could forget the man who floods with me, especially in court. <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> What was the doppelganger Phoenix Wright doing? Was he gay? <laughs> Just <laughs> gay or you're in pain. <laughs> I, I, I can't do this. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm glad that whole Legally Blonde song stuck in my head. This is so terrible. This is amazing. I guess he was cross examined by our mysterious Zin Eop. Zin Eop. Zin Eop. It looks like everyone to do if the case knows who I am already. I wonder what sort of impression Zin Eop has been leaving on people, don't you? Allow me to introduce myself to you again. I am Jean Armstrong. Enchanté. Enchanté. <laughs> uh, Bonjour, mon ami. Uh, this guy is It's the deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we He's have. He's nothing like Lumiere. <laughs> no, but the rose made me suddenly. So, what does Trey be on me? I know Trey. That means three, right? Non, non, non. Trey be on is François. In English, you would say very good. Oh. Very good. Oui, exactamente. La atmosphere is très bien, and the cuisine is très bien. bien. If the food's so bien. good, why aren't there any customers in here? My cuisine is not for all. Some people say do not appreciate la hot cuisine. I thought everyone liked hot cuisine. Since I have lost Maggie, I do not have enough hands. So, uh, you're running this place on your own now? Well, yeah, who would work with this job? <laughs> who would work with this dude? Well, that <laughs> might be a little mean. No. <laughs> this is not mean. Wait for the moment to know what this answered my advertisement. Oh, poor moi! I think I'm doing a higher pitch. Oh, poor you. moi! <laughs> I basically picture this guy sounds exactly like a good girl. <laughs> oh, poor moi! <laughs> Please, don't eyeball me while you say that. <laughs> I am the chef, I am the manager, I am also a trained Arthur of the A aromatherapist! A roaming what? A practitioner to aromatherapy, la art of zooming the soul with the delicate floral aromas. I don't think anyone will mind that. <laughs> no. We're both doing this, this is the best. Delicate? The smell coming from that bottle earlier was anything but. It would be even funnier if he like breaks down and has a different voice. Because then, like, we could just be like, and then, like, yeah. going back and forth between the Uh, so could you tell me what you know about the incident? Bian, it makes me sad to remember it, yet I remember it so well. More than a month has passed since, since it has happened. Yeah, I guess it's been about a month since Maggie's sentencing. So, it was the third of last month, as just after the afternoon, and just after one in the afternoon, a man who was in here for coffee suddenly became ill. Because of the poison. That was some... <laughs> <They can't eat. laughs> Because of the poison in his coffee? That is the truth as they know it. It was Maggie who took his drink to him. I was in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, 
It's like, Tom, does someone collect? Basically, anytime you break down laughing, I have to take over the voice. <laughs> When, so when I came bad. up to see what it was, he already slumped in his chair. He was dead? Mon Dieu, oui, he was dead. Maggie had passed out also. And this man who died, was he alone? Oui, monsieur. All alone. I know that Maggie said there was someone else, but... I see. La police, they asked me many times. Are oh, you he... sure there was no one at the table? <laughs> they asked. But I am not the only one. The only man. The, 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 old, the old man said the same thing. Old man? What old man? Um, so who is this old man that you mentioned? At the time of the murder, there was another customer in here. What? Someone else saw it? My... My we? May we? As I'm... usual, he came alone that day. At the time of the murder, there was he. And he was here. He saw it too. Yeah, so there's a picture of the chef on the wall. When I saw it, I thought it was like an actual lady. Like, he? Because I couldn't see the beard. Oh, yeah. It looks like the... Do you remember the chick from Guilty Party? The egg cook that's like, oh, she's super short. She has the curly hair and kind of fat. Uh, no. It looks like that. Okay. Oh, also, I want to point out In Rise from the Ashes, which was released after this game was released. Yeah. Um, Gumshoe gives, like, Edgeworth, like, the, like, memo. And, like, Edgeworth's like, apparently there's a new French restaurant opening. It's this one. Oh. You can see, like, the Travion on the back, <laughs> which is kind of funny. At Even this voice is making my voice hurt. <laughs> That's the time of the murder. He was there. He saw it, too. Well, this is great. But he said the same thing, that there was no one else at the victim's table. Question. Was this the voice that you were like, maybe you could help me with? Yes. And you are like, oh, darn it. Oh, I was hoping there'd be another one. But Maggie swears there were two people. This is the only one you can with the other two. Not a chance. <laughs> oh. My mademoiselle, uh, the lawyer, he could not prove this, no? About the lawyer, that was me, I suppose. My bien sir. This is like Maybe the macho Girlish. April May. <laughs> wow, he's the first person who said it wasn't me. Don't kid yourself, Nick. Hm. Now who's the one making stuff up? Hey, dude, I'm an attorney. Please, monsieur, there is no need to show me that. You are more this is that's right, the worst defense attorney in town. <laughs> I think I can imagine how he formed this completely wrong impression of me. Um, the last time we met, did I show you this badge? Oui, you flashed it to everyone in the restaurant. Looks like Zini Up is a bigger fan of flashing stuff than you are, Nick. I am not a lawyer myself. I do not wish to speak out of turn. But your defense in court that day was a little, how would you say, lacking, perhaps. <sighs> Even a French man who cannot speak any English could have done a better job. I almost said French woman. <laughs> because <laughs> you were very cool, though. Oh, we, we, so handsome. Wow, I wonder just how bad the defense could have been. Every time you opened your mouth, the old courthouse sure stirred. Oh, oh man. man, that is something I don't want to imagine. What did he say? Well, we found this sports paper in the magazine rack here. One of my customers must have left it behind. Do you have any idea which customer it was? It's the only ideas I have, mademoiselle. I say, for my kitchen. <laughs> I mean, you know what? I'm okay with that. Uh -huh. Oh la la, you have such a pretty smile, my petit chulip. Who, uh, me? Oui. <laughs> the smile is the most important thing for us girls. <laughs> well, okay, <laughs> that happened. Um, sure. If you want the job here, it is yours, precious. Uh, show me, yeah, show me. Mon Dieu, what beauty! That's my sister. Oh, we oui, are never delight. But you have a certain je ne suis quiz that I do not know how to pronounce that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that I do not sense from your sister. This is almost like the gay Mario. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. So long, gay Bowser. <laughs> Yeah, that's what we have to name this. Do you? <laughs> <We'll see. laughs> so throw your head high, thrust out your f No, no I'm not no. reading that. <laughs> do not <laughs> to me, you are a woman, a woman next 
to run into, uh, do I look like I need cheering up or something? <laughs> wow, <laughs> right about that! <laughs> um, about Tea for this. team, kids. <laughs> Felicions! Ma, me, sisters, general comprehend. My, I would love this if this was like a guy who's pretending to be French. He's just like. <laughs> but basically, uh, the designers apparently designed him to be like the most stereotypically like fake French person okay. ever. Nick, don't just make something up. It's it, it would be completely in character Durf. if he mispronounced all these French. It would be words. great. That's the nice thing. Okay. <laughs> his eyes creep me out when he has the rose oh, in his him. mouth. It is hard to imagine, I know, but I was an apprentice for five years in La Gay Paris. Wow, in Paris? It was something La Chef Zer said to me that made me decide to open my own restaurant. What was it? That awful man said to me, you must train for another ten years. Oh, it was such a shock. Unexpected. But you would have to be a fool to do this, no? Okay, then. Maggie was a policewoman once. This pet... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but she had to quit for um, reasons beyond her control. control. Like that. Wee <laughs> wee, oui, oui, she was the suspect in that murder investigation. <laughs> oh, you know about that? That is why I gave her to her little perfume for the happiness. Happiness, happiness perfume? perfume. <laughs> we blended from bergamot, whatever that is. <laughs> like I have given to you before. You gave it to him? But she's been arrested again and found guilty this time. Maybe there was This is true. In there. Her natural aroma of unhappiness must have been very strong. Just admit it, your perfume <laughs> doesn't work. <laughs> I'm not that surprised that she was the prime suspect. After so something like that took place before my very eyes. Something like what? What's this guy talking about? Does this mean Maggie did have a motive? We gotta ask this guy for more info. <laughs> stat. I, I'm gonna try and guess what happened. The, she was talking to the guy and she's like, "Wow, MC Bomber, what a cool like band." And he's just like, <laughs> and like throws the coffee in her face. <laughs> like how could Doe <laughs> throw some narc? And that makes her be like, "I'm killing this guy." <laughs> no, but like for him, it might be like, "Oh, murder," but like for uh. her, it'd be like, "No." Uh, when Maggie took the coffee over to the victim, did anything happen? We, oui, we, oui, I suppose you could say so. So what happened? No, it was, uh, it was nothing. Look, Maggie says she didn't even know the guy, but she's still been indicted for murder. Indicted. But it's spelled wrong. No, that's how you spell indicted. What? I thought you, wow. I thought it had nay. Nope. Prosecution must have come up with some kind of motive. We. Oui, it is true. If there was anything at all between Maggie and the victim, it could be relevant. So please, tell us anything you know. Oh. Oui, oui, mi monsieur. Oui, 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 oh. Tres cyclocs in Trabion. A cycloc? Well, yeah. No way. What are we going to do, Nick? We'll just have to remove- What the- What's wrong? The Magatama. It's gone. Who stole it? Huh? I had it in my pocket, but it has vanished into thin air. What? What, did fake Phoenix write? But I could see the Cyclock. Maybe that means the Magatama's nearby? Maybe that means we don't need the Magatama because but, but, we're just strong. But he, by that logic, though, if you just have to be near the Magatama to see it, if Phoenix had it in his pocket and he was talking to someone and Phoenix lied, they would be able to see the Cyclock. They'd be like, what the A bleep? bleep? <laughs> Mr. Um, Armstrong? Could I just confirm something with you again? The table where the victim was sitting, was anyone else sitting there? That is a question that you will have to ask him yourself. Huh? If- The old man spends all of his time at Dan's La Park. Okay, if it's an old man, La I can help you with No, that. you can't. I could be an- I'm no man! <laughs> no, no, that is completely not the voice we will be okay, doing for well, this old man. Okay, well, let me see him. I wanna see him. The park! Oh, a park. What park's that? Behind the restaurant, it is called Vitamin Square. Thank you! Je vous en prie, ma dear. <laughs> dear. Let's go check out this Vitamin Square right now, Nick! Yeah, let's go. I yes. wanna see this dude. 
I don't think you'll be disappointed. Square. Except the fact that you will not be able to do anything with him. Is he like an old man that's like somehow like smoked 50 packs and so he it's too low of a voice for me to do? Similar to that. Oh. January 6th, Vitamin Square. So this is Vitamin Square. Yeah, I see where they get the name for it from now. The fruits scream vitamins at you. Hey, Nick. That's the guy, right? Isn't that the old man Mr. Armstrong was talking about? That grouchy-looking grandpa? He's throwing seeds out for the pigeons. Maya, he's not throwing seeds for them. He's throwing seeds at them! <laughs> These stupid birds. <laughs> We're in America! <laughs> <laughs> uh, my grumpiness fret level has just been raised to red. Like his red nose. This dude. Why Japanese is he, grumpy. Why is he rubbing his nose? It's, it's swollen. He got stunned by a bee right there. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, excuse me. Uh, would you mind if I had a word with you? Yes! I just want to ask you a couple of questions. What's the matter with you? Can't you see I'm busy? So you don't like my seeds, eh, pigeons? He's really chucking those seeds at them. That's gotta this hurt. Is literally <laughs> male, uh, old bag. Go on, eat this, eat this, uh, and this, and that. Uh, excuse me, sir. Can I ask you about Maggie Bird? I don't know any Maggie Bird. Yes, you do, Maggie, the waitress at Tre Bayon. Ha! It's a disgrace, I tell you, an utter disgrace. Grace. An innocent young girl revealing herself like that? Revealing? You mean her uniform? The youth of today! They don't have any shame! No shame, I tell you! Not one ounce! Let's be fair, she's probably wearing the uniform that this weirdo gave her, and he's like, Oh, you would look so beautiful with your figure in this! <laughs> and then, like, you know, that's not her fault. That's the uniform that they gave her. Whatever happened to the old Bushido values of Japan, like honor and modesty? We're in Japan, California, sir. What about me? I'm not wearing anything revealing. You? Your problem is you lack any sense of grace! Talk about hitting a girl where it hurts! Also, Maya, you... It's it's cut off screen, but you were wearing a pretty short skirt, let's be honest. Yeah. <laughs> short skirts, though, in Japan are not a problem. Oh, I'm, I'm Like, not. at all. But they're like, if there's any cleavage, it's like... <laughs> but, like, legs, that's fine. Uh, okay. They don't care, apparently. Do you go to Trabian a lot? <laughs> that miserable excuse for a restaurant! That garbage they serve in there is not food! Where's the sushi? The tempura? The rice? Uh... Trabian is a French restaurant, sir. Where do you think we are, boy? In Paris? I want real food, not these snooty snacks! Whoa, he's ripped underneath that. <laughs> and what about those shameless girls? You mean the waitresses? You can see all the way up to their... Their... Yes, the waitresses! They're practically naked! It's a disgrace, isn't it? Well, isn't it? Um... Listen, it's not my restaurant! Gah! It's a miserable excuse for a restaurant, that place! Miserable! miserable! He certainly knows the place. He must be a regular. But if he hates it so much, why does he keep going? That's like the weird critic who's like, disgusting, and then like, comes back. <laughs> like, yep. <laughs> I mean, that's not really a good description. Ego. <laughs> From, yeah, it's great. Also, I love his Are you a regular music. at that restaurant, sir? It's just, if you dislike it so much, why would you keep going there? Sir? There you are, you filthy pigeons! You want food? Ha <laughs> ha! Take that! He must be hiding something, right? If he is, I should be able to see a cyclop. Oh, wait. I don't exactly have the Magatama right now, huh? Remember, Nick, that Magatama's are only... Uh, is only on loan. You'd better find it or else... If Pearls ever gets wind of this, I'm going to be in a world of pain. She just pops out of the strawberry. Mr. Nick! She <laughs> sure just starts punching him. <laughs> <laughs> um, excuse me, sir. Could I ask you about this? <laughs> <laughs> sir? Here you go, boy! How does some pigeon feet no! sound to you? <laughs> this wasn't exactly what I was hoping to get out of this guy. <laughs> How about that sports paper? <laughs> uh, um, sir, I have a newspaper here. Sir? There! How about some pigeon feet? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, boy. This is delightful. <laughs> I love how his profile is in there. Uh, excuse me, sir. <laughs> Could I ask you about this? I love how his name is Old Man, too. <laughs> Here, take some pigeon feed! <laughs> I like how he's like a bow on his head. You know her. Apparently, he doesn't. How many, how many seeds does 
he have in there? Also, this is a great animation. Yeah. <laughs> about that guy. I think everything we present him, he's oh. just chuck seeds okay, at let's, us. Because he's cantankerous model. like that. Oh yeah, examine stuff. This place is so fruity. That's not a bad thing. Besides, I love apples. They're among my favorites. Then that apple slide is perfect for you. And what is so perfect about it? Oh, come on. Don't be a stick in the mud. Slide down it a few times. Go on. Woo! No way! I'd get covered in sand if I slid down that slide. Anyone can see that. Yeah, you're right. Otherwise, I'd give it a try, too. She didn't? No, she did not. This place is so fruity. Oh, really? Th that Wait. again? That I doesn't was look like an apple. There's like... Oh, but that's this the... This is the apple. I just realized those are steps climbing up into the apple. Mm -hmm. I'm like, that looks like a No, strawberry. those are the pigeon feed <laughs> seeds that he's been throwing at them. <laughs> I used to love sandboxes like you wouldn't believe! Really? You? Sure! Finding iron fillings in the sand with a magnet was my favorite thing to do! Iron fillings? Wow. Ah, uh, filings. Wow. Filings! That's too exciting for words. It was my ambition to collect every single shred of iron in the sandbox! I was such a kid back then! So, did you manage to get all the iron? No, I never did. I think I came close, though. Come to think of it, I still have all the iron filings I found way back when. You want them? No. <laughs> I mean, why would you want them? Hey, look! Pigeons! Yeah, and heaps of them, too. Did you know that pigeons are a symbol of peace? That's a dove, not a pigeon. Poor things. Just because they're gray means they can't be symbols of peace and harmony? You're overthinking this one by just a smidge, Maya. This is such catchy music, holy cow. This is like, we're marching to war with pigeons. <laughs> I think this song is actually called War Song. Oh, should be Pigeon War Song. Oh, there's a magazine here. It's a magazine full of job listings. <coughs> Sorry. You disgusting rogue, picking up something someone else threw away. Uh... Threw away? Did you throw this away? Are you looking for a job? Cop! That's none of your business! Sorry, I, I guess I'll just take the magazine with me then. I don't want anyone else having it! Give it back! Too bad. Now that you want it so bad, I don't want to give it up. Job listings added to the court record. Mm -hmm. Hey! That's mine! Can't believe you just let us get away with that. <laughs> What's he gonna do about it? He's like two you know. feet tall. <laughs> He's not two feet tall. He's short. I mean, He's he pretty short, actually. He can't see it. Okay, let's let's look for the Magatama. Mademoiselle! Yes? Are you looking for the job? What? N no, no, I was just... Let me see. Your style is unproof different, but you have a good face. Different? Felicio, you have passed. I will hire you. Bien, come with me. I will teach you everything I know. Oh, the neck! I don't know whether to laugh or feel bad for Maya. <laughs> Maybe I should just do both. What? She's gone! <laughs> She's gone. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, we're not stopping now! Yeah, we I want to go back and see Maya in a ridiculous maid uniform trying to serve cakes and falling on her feet. That might not happen for a while. So <laughs> we need Maya! And it's like the half hour mark roughly Aww. now. And I gotta get up for work tomorrow. Okay, so, fine. thanks for watching. This is a hilarious episode to do. <laughs> oh. But guess what? Would you believe it if I said the character who's gonna kill my voice the most we have not seen yet? I, I could believe it. Like, the last character that I have to voice, like, okay. I am physically incapable of doing the voice that I want I will to do. Okay. You can't help. You okay. are far physically incapable of doing it at all. We will put our capabilities together. But literally, like, the old dude, I'm like, whatever. I can't explain and to you the... how, why we can't do it, but. Okay. Any, you'll find out next time, though. Okay. <laughs> all right, look forward to that. Until we meet again, everybody, have a great day and God bless. I gotta prepare my voice. Yeah, me too. I kind of coughed a bit.